Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're discussing the evolving U.S. electric vehicle landscape with James Hodgson, Research Director at ABI Research, and Lynn Blake, U.S. Auto Sales Leader at Schneider Electric. James, ABI Research recently conducted an industry-wide survey. Tell us about it. So our survey gathered insights from 200 decision makers across the automotive ecosystem. So that's OEMs, battery manufacturers, and charge point operators to get a full picture of the industry's challenges and opportunities. And this end-to-end -end view allows us to assess both the outstanding roadblocks and the solutions that these decision makers are leveraging to drive progress. There's been concern about slowing EV adoption, yet your survey tells a different story. Can you elaborate? Yeah, that's right. So despite some skepticism, 89% of respondents said adoption is progressing as expected or even faster than expected. And while US BEV sales grew by only 7.3% in 2024, the industry's long-term trajectory is still outpacing initial projections. You know, in just five years, BEV market share jumped from 1.4% to 8.1%, and that's a significant shift. That's encouraging. But challenges remain. What stood out as the biggest barrier? Cost. Yeah. According to the survey respondents, high prices are the biggest factor slowing adoption. 36% ranked it as the top concern, and 80% placed it in their top three concerns. Even after incentives, there are no EVs under $35,000 that offer a 300-mile range, largely due to battery costs, which make up 30 to 40% of the EV's cost. Lynn, let's talk about the elephant in the room. With EVs still dependent on subsidies, what's the risk if funding shifts? Most of the market agrees that battery manufacturing would take the biggest hit. Our survey found that the battery industry is most at risk if subsidies are withdrawn. Given that battery production already faces supply chain challenges and yield concerns, losing financial support would slow cost reductions and hinder production scale up. James, beyond policy, what are the biggest challenges facing the U.S. battery industry? Ensuring access to critical raw materials is crucial for battery manufacturers. However, our survey reveals that improving yield rates poses nearly as significant a challenge. And enhancing yield rates is vital uh, for reducing waste, for boosting output, cutting costs, and ultimately lowering EV prices, which is the key barrier to future market growth. And from an operational perspective, when how can the industry improve efficiency? Digitalization is a key lever. At Schneider Electric, we focus on combining IoT analytics, predictive maintenance, and automation to create a synergistic effect, which enhances overall efficiency and lowers manufacturing costs. It allows operators to minimize energy consumption, reduce maintenance costs, and improve quality control within manufacturing, which very much aligns with the survey findings. 42% of respondents support predictive maintenance as the most effective strategy. 31% prioritize IoT-driven real-time monitoring to optimize production efficiency. By implementing predictive maintenance and IoT analytics, manufacturers can cut costs while improving battery production efficiency. Exactly. AI-driven condition monitoring helps identify issues early, preventing costly disruptions. These data-driven approaches enhance reliability, reduce downtime, and increase production yield, directly addressing industry concerns. Well, it's clear that while challenges exist, the industry is making real progress. Yes, adoption rates are exceeding expectations, but cost of producing batteries remains a hurdle, which is why we are partnering with customers to help them implement digital solutions that ensure quality, reduce scrap and waste, and also reduce overall energy consumption. To overcome this, the focus must be on enhancing battery production efficiency through yield improvements and supply chain resilience and leveraging predictive maintenance and IoT analytics to optimize manufacturing. Thank you, James and Wynn.